Hi guys, welcome to Chicago Reacts. I'm Sonia the Thespian, and today we will be reacting to The Failure of Rainforest by Internet Historian. Okay, that's, that's an interesting way to say that. So we're going to see what that's about. And before we start into that video today, um, so... If you guys can like and subscribe to our channel, Chicago Reacts, we would surely love it. Um, comment on the comment in the comments box below or suggest, put some suggestions down there to what you guys want us to watch because we love, we really love reacting to these videos. I mean, literally, you guys' suggestions have been awesome. So um, keep it going. I mean, hey. Um, but um, yeah, let's, let, let's get into this video now because I'm curious. You know, why they spelt it that way. <laughs> All right. Where are we? We're at Rainforest. Where are we? We're at Rainforest. Yep. In September 2015, uh -oh. a group of furries came together with a brilliant idea. Rainforest. A convention for and by furries. This is their story. And I'm just bringing in all the dirty laundry here, so you guys are lucky, and I'm probably going to ask you to not post that video, mister. Rainforest is the reverse of Dashcon. Where Dashcon was a disaster caused by its organizers, Rainforest was a disaster caused by its attendees. I am absolutely sure there is no truth to the rumor that Rainforest is under an evil curse. I am... With that, it is my pleasure to officially declare Rainforest 2015 open! It all started with a talent contest. That went okay. But as the night went on, some started to get absolutely trashed. Dressed up like that. Mm -mm. A few hours later, the destruction had begun. Somebody had deliberately loosened the bolt on one of these toilets so that when the next person flushed, water flooded everywhere, two and a half inches deep. An emergency plumber was quickly on the scene, but the damage was already done. Water had leaked through the floor and onto the basement servers below. Meanwhile, staff and security are threatening to throw out some of the guests. They had disabled the fire alarm so they could hotbox their room. Oh my. Obviously there are reasons not to do that. Down at the hot tub, someone took all of these towels and threw them into the spa. But not before rolling up towels and stuffing them directly into the pump, causing thousands of dollars in damage. Why? Why do that? That's stupid. Yeah, do y'all not have And they stepped it up a notch from Dashcon. From going number one in the ball pit, to going number two in the swimming pool. Really? Back at the bathroom, there were rumors that someone had drilled a glory hole into one of the stalls, although this wasn't confirmed. But what was confirmed was a haul of over 2,000 nitrous oxide canisters just laying around in rooms and hallways. But that was just the start of the drug problem. First a couple of guys overindulge in mushrooms and need an ambulance. Then a staff member gets arrested for sexual assault. Then someone else is arrested for regular assault. A few others drank too much and needed a second ambulance. And on the other side of the car park, two more people are being arrested, one for drug possession and the other for dealing. Drugs was the major problem. Meanwhile, you have these guys roaming the halls. They call it crinkling, after the noise it makes when they walk around. And yes, some of these diapers are full. The other guests weren't too pleased. Later on, they're just throwing food and diapers in the gardens and stairwells. They were behaving like... animals? One thing that's important is we do ask that you guys all be really good back to the hotel. 
You know the elevator buttons? You really don't have to use your foot. Just thumb off. A few hours later. Put your pants on and stop breaking shit! But that wasn't the end of it. Uh, there was an incident with uh, diapers being found on people's cars. The hotel was left in ruins. I bet it was. Four to six weeks later. The Hilton submitted a letter listing all of the reasons Rainforest would not be allowed at their venue from now on. I bet I would have been like that too. All of the other cons combined that year. But it wasn't just the damages. Rainforest was insured and had over 150 grand in the bank to pay for it all. Rainforest was just so toxic that they said, no thank you, take your money elsewhere. But that left them with a rather large problem because big hotel chains talk. Hilton talks to Sheraton, talks to Marriott, talks to Holiday Inn, talks to Hyatt, talks to Best Western, but there's more. Someone was sending detailed letters to nearby venues, warning them why they shouldn't host the next rainforest. Soon, there isn't one hotel in Seattle that has a convention center willing to host them. They got, no they got other start hotel this side of the state wanted to take us from Seattle to Bellingham. What's interesting is that the organizers knew who was sending the letters. The things that were talked about in that letter, and you're pretty much the only person who could have known that. Uh, yeah, I, in my heart of hearts, I know who it is. It means more of an opportunity around, and it pisses me off. In case well, you missed that, what you're saying stupid. is, whoever sent the letters was the same person in the hotel, who was putting like diapers on these cars. Uh. So they're going to probably try options, by the state they started farm to now. look further outside of the city. They managed to find a venue in Spokane that was willing to give them a shot. But by February, none of that mattered. The diaper-wearing saboteur had sent out another letter, and Spokane backed out. So Rainforest 2016 was cancelled. Was cancelled. Yeah. And that's the story of Rainforest. So far. Oh. Unlike Dashcon, Rainforest is coming back, and Rainforest 2017 promises to be bigger and better than ever. <laughs> oh, RF 2017, they're bringing it back! They're bringing it back! Yes! <laughs> oh, so many memories! So many memories! Oops, never mind. As I was editing this, uh, this happened. So it's cancelled forever. Bye! Dang, why you do? <laughs> See, as a person who works in the hospitality business, this is a terrible thing because you have like, definitely if you have, you can't come to these hotels and expect like, oh, well, it's going to be fine. No, you can't come to hotels and destroy them because they're right. That stuff do spread. And, you know, and, and I know like, like Comic Con and all these big different things, anime, con, you know, certain things you will want to do, but you got to make sure you kind of be okay at these conventions and don't destroy stuff or they're not going to have you back. So I'm not going to lie to you. They kind of put them on, put that on themselves with that one. Cause you don't act a fool up in the, I know it's a weekend you're having a good time, but mm -mm, that was doing too much. They was just, they was like a frat party with them. And now, at, but this day it wasn't no frat house. It was the hotel, frat hotel for them. But, uh, but yeah, <laughs> Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos. And we will see you next time. <laughs>